Hi, it's Sam with Matador. We're here at the shop in Colorado, and today we're going to talk about the OnGrid series. Hello. When designing bags for the city, there were a number of important considerations that we wanted to touch on. We wanted to add extra organization, so we put a bunch of pockets on these. They also have laptop sleeves, um, the bag and the tote. Also, we wanted increased abrasion resistance, so we sized up the fabric. In our uh, advanced series, the fabric is a 30 denier. This is a 100 denier Robic with a UTS coating. And uh, these bags are made to be your everyday carry bag once you get to your destination. So the beefier fabric and increased abrasion resistance really helps with, uh, you know, like using it every day and putting it down on asphalt all day long. We set out to make bags that uh, were urban specific but didn't compromise on performance at all. And kind of interestingly enough, the more we thought about it, we, we came to this idea that cosmetics and aesthetics are actually a really important part of uh, urban performance. The bag just has to look the part, it has to look at home in the city and not look like an outdoor pack that you're using in the city. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the backpack, but you'll see these attributes throughout the line. So one example is the water bottle pocket. We didn't wanna use mesh. Um, we wanted to use the body fabric that we use throughout the pack, the 100D Robic. And it was important to us that the pocket had its own preserved dimension so that when the bag is completely stuffed out, it can accommodate a water bottle. But also it was important to us that the pocket did not interrupt the profile of the bag. As you can see, um, the pocket just kind of, it just kind of blends right in. And so the way we accomplished this was we built these pockets with uh, this internal gusset right here. And at the top of the pocket, there is woven elastic that runs through a channel so that that woven elastic pulls the pocket flat when it's not in use, but that gusset allows the dimension necessary to uh, accommodate for a water bottle when you need it. Another design decision that we made was we wanted to strip out the top stitching wherever possible. Top stitching is uh, visible stitch lines that run parallel to the seams and um, we just wanted to keep all the lines really crisp and clean. So we used bar tacks for reinforcement uh, in certain areas in lieu of top stitching, um, but we were pretty successful in, in getting the top stitching out of the bag. Uh, another important decision we made was relates to how uh, this front pocket is constructed. Traditionally, this front pocket would have been there would have been a horizontal seam across the front panel to anchor the bottom of the pocket. But we really wanted this front panel to be uh, unbroken. We wanted kind of like a, like a unibody front panel and bottom panel construction. And so we went through to build this uh, front pocket as a hang down pocket with no horizontal anchor seam. The last of the notable design features is the main zipper and the front pocket zipper both have weather protection flaps and we wanted to design these flaps so that they appeared seamless, that they were almost unnoticeable and again, they didn't interrupt the profile of the bag. For this front pocket in particular took a, kind of a lot of head scratching and a lot of cutting and sewing and in-house prototyping and sample making. Um, but in the end, we were able to accomplish that goal so that when you look at the, at the pack, um, the top silhouette is just kind of a, a nice, it appears as a nice uniform slope down from the wearer's back to the front of the pack. Um, so that's kind of a rundown of the design considerations that um, we had in mind when we were building the on-grid line. And thanks for tuning in. Hope you like the on-grid series and uh, check us out at matadorup.com.